Hello, welcome back to Farmer's Wife Homestead. I'm Stacey if this is the first time we're meeting and welcome back. Today I've um, decided that I'm going to not be cooking in the kitchen today and we're just going to have a quick chat and I'm going to update you all on the um, how the budget is going for this year. We're almost halfway through the year. What are we, the 14th? For us it's the 14th of June so we're almost halfway through um, the the um, <laughs> the last month in the first quarter no first half of the year oh gosh need to go back to sleep <laughs> um, so anyway um, the first three months um, I think I gave an update up till February so I did an update March April May and um, what we're doing now so I actually have the um, the budget mum um, pay budget by paycheck the budget mum I have her um, workbook here so that's what um, I've been filling everything out so um, there's an expense tracker in case you have not seen this book before and uh, for every month so every month I've been writing down what I've been spending um, where it was spent and obviously how much so I was really vigilant and did the first two months and then uh, three months actually and then for April, May and June so far um, I hadn't written in this book um, but I've been saving all my receipts in fact I've kept all my receipts for um, whatever I've spent um, so it's been so interesting to sit down this morning and see where I'm at now I know April, May I had some pretty big spends in both of those months and funnily enough it coincided with me deciding that I was going to shop the specials back at the supermarket and start shopping back at the supermarket and it's funny because I overspend by but I'm not going to blame the supermarket it's because I was getting my house ready for my surgery that I had um, mid-May so I wanted to make sure that I had plenty of meals in the freezer that the family didn't need um, to go and get anything, husband didn't need to go and do groceries, I had meals and all those sorts of things and I had to stock up on some bigger ticket items. So um, yeah, April, May were big months. So anyway, right, so in January, I, oh, just to recoup, I have challenged myself to only spend $5,000 on groceries and household items this year. Um, just decided that that's what I wanted to do was just try and shop and you know spend as little as possible so anyway um, which I equated to it comes to about $416 a month so I rounded up to $420 um, so that means $105 every week so in January I spent $467.42 so I overspent by $47 and 42 cents I won't worry about the cents um, February I spent 515 so I was over by 95 March I paired it back to try and um, recoup some money so I spent 299.35 so that was under 120 so that's good because it almost offset January February overspends April <laughs> remembering I'm only supposed to spend 420 to make my goal nine hundred and seventy five dollars and sixty two cents oh dear so I was over by five hundred and fifty five dollars and sixty two cents but as I said I did a lot of freezer meals um, and a lot of prepping to make sure that I had everything because I honestly didn't know how long this meniscus surgery was going to keep me off my feet and as it turned out I was mobile so I probably didn't need to go Berkey and overstock but what it has done is that means that, you know, like I've got a lot of meals pre-prepped and stuff. And in fact, um, I had a daughter that moved and I've been able to bless her family with a whole heap of um, freezer meals and groceries and stuff. And, um, you know, without having to spend money, extra money. So that was April. Hmm. May. $889.48. Now, when you think about it, all of that was spent up until the 17th of May because the second half I didn't I wasn't driving or anything so I was over four hundred and sixty nine dollars and forty eight cents now in those totals 
were some pet food and I'm not counting pet food in my groceries so I have taken those totals out which was $124 so anyway it came to let's have a look at my figures 3000 so far I've spent $3,185.67 oh, in June I've spent $162.80 so far so I'm going to try and have another low spend June um, so $3,183.67 is what I've spent so far for this half of the year um, which if you're rounding it out is $530 per month now I was beating myself up and when I look at these figures and I think $530 even though I overspent um, in April May $530 for groceries is still pretty good Per month so I, I can't beat myself up about that even if I stuck to 530 a month I'd still only have a grocery budget of 6360 so yeah so far I'm over six hundred and sixty five dollars and sixty seven cents so that's about a month and a half really whether I'm going to be able to recoup that I'm not sure um, I do have some oh, hold so just looking up at my um, writing board of I need flour so I'm down to my last bucket of flour so I need to buy a big flour and I think that's around $30 I need peas sour cream paprika um, drink mix and cinnamon other than that other than fruit and veg I think we're okay we do need some bread so I could just make all the bread but I do like to have some in the freezer as well. Husband loves homemade bread, but yeah, it's good to have the other stuff um, because it'd be nice to do some more toasted sandwiches. Um, so yeah, those are the things that I need to get. So that's not gonna, that's maybe gonna cost me about $100. So that's not too bad. Um, I'm still gonna see if I can continue on the journey. I wanna try and get as close to $5,000 as I can. Just for my own benefit um, and I started writing about it back in January and February and I really wish that I was more diligent and I'd kept writing and and just you know um, giving my day to day thoughts I'm um, a bit miffed with myself that I didn't do that what I'm also going to do is some stage during this week is I'm going to sit down and I'm going to go through all my receipts and I'm going to categorise what I spent on fruit and veg what I spent on household items, what I spent on like um, dairy, baking, and I'm gonna really niche it down because I don't know, that just really excites me to actually look into it. And what I can say is that I honestly think, even though I've I've made this little challenge up for myself, it's really helped me try and not spend as much as possible it's made me think outside the square it's made me use what I've got and you know what probably for the next six months we could easily live off you know the freezers and all the rest and for want of just a few things we'd be okay so I think that's a pretty good pretty good effort um, my veggie garden just looking out the window here it's it's all died back for the winter which is good it means that I have got a fresh canvas to start with and my son is going to help me build some raised beds now when I say raised beds I'm not talking about really deep raised beds I just want like say one board width so they're not raised raised beds but they're going to be contained so that I could um, put wood chips down the rest of the garden so that it can be controlled a lot better so I'm really looking forward to doing that and of course I will film that I've got to get my garlic in shortly so hopefully if it finds up we'll plant some garlic together um, and I've lifted some of my dahlias and I'm just starting to think about the spring garden and I'm actually going to sow some onion seeds as well because I used to buy them in bulk and I just can't get them in bulk anymore so I'm going to grow my own. Um, I'm really interested to see what I'm spending on fruit and veg um, every, every year and seeing if this this year I can look at you know the breakdown of it and, and say okay well I bought this 
this many kilos of onions. Okay, so I need to produce this many kilos. Um, yeah, I just, I love, love thinking about that sort of stuff and writing it all down and I've brought myself a little notebook and anyway. Yeah. So another couple of things before we go is I would love some help. Love some help. We have such an amazing community here and I value each and every one of you and I try and read every single comment. Some may slip through but um, even if I, I can't reply, which obviously I can't because I literally get a lot, um, I still try and read them and I know a lot of you read the comments as well. So what I also wanted to do um, in regards to this video is I want every, well as many as you as possible to write a comment and I want you to use, tell us your number one tip saving idea that you have implemented to try and save money. It doesn't have to be food related, it can be anything because as I said we've got, you know, I've got over 30,000 subscribers so <laughs> I doubt that, you know, we're going to have that many comments but if if all of you give us one idea on how you're saving money through these really, really tough times that we're facing, then hopefully we can help each other. So in the pinned, com I will pin a comment and I will put my um, top tip and if you could all do that, that would be awesome. Um, yeah, and I just hope that you're all doing well and I hope that you're, you're coping okay and you're, you know, like, um, yeah, it's like I, I, I get to share all these recipes and stuff and I'm and you are telling me that I'm helping inspire you to get back into the kitchen and save money and all those sorts of things so even if you've learned something from me put it in the comment or something yeah because it, I just feel that with such a huge community it would be really awesome if we can help each other out um, by leaving a message and I think that would be really cool and I look forward to reading what you all come up with. Um, no, I haven't been to town and I haven't brought the apron stand yet, but um, I may look at going in tomorrow and um, I need some fruit and veg, so I will be getting some fruit and veg and I will go and get the apron stand and I will show you on the next video. Um, one last thing before we leave, if you have made it all the way to the end of this, is I would also love for you to let me know what some future videos you would like to see. I've still got some in mind of course, um, I try to plan plan ahead as much as I can, but I know that uh, um, there's a lot of requests and sometimes I miss them, so if there's certain requests that you would like to see me make, please also jot that down in the comment section and I will get my notebook out and I will write them down and then we'll look at you know, um, doing some videos in the future that you want to see as well. Because sometimes I, I, I do draw a blank and I go, oh, what, what would you like to see? I'm not sure. Do I make more budget videos or do I do more freezer meals or more baking? I, yeah, it's sometimes being a content creator, it's like you, you get a bit of a, um, a block. <laughs> so tell me what you would like to see as well. Anyway, I've waffled on long enough and I thank you all so much for your encouragement, your kind words, your aroha, um, which means love, and um, I really look forward to seeing what you all have to say in the comment section um, in regards to today's video. So thank you for joining me and I wish you well and I will see you on the next one. Bye for now.